Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. Today we're going to be entering the hives here at the house. Now, as you can tell, there's quite a bit of activity at a few of these hives. We, were just, we just want to check them to make sure that all the hives survived. I'm pretty sure they have, um, but unless you check them, sometimes beekeepers uh, in the early spring will say, oh, all my bees survived. But if one of them was the only one that survived, they could actually be robbing out the other two hives, or if one died, uh, two hives could be robbing that third one out, making it look like there's a lot of activity. Um, but once the hive is completely emptied, there won't be any more bees coming and going because there's no more food in there for the other bees to rob. So we're just gonna crack them open and make sure that that's uh, the case, that all three survived. Hopefully that's the case. Um, and we've been feeding them. So uh, at the cottage, we talked about how we feed them with uh, flour and sugar water because the sugar water basically simulates uh, nectar and then the flower simulates pollen and that's something you can do in the early spring to get them to start actually feeding the queen and uh, feeding the brood so that they can actually start building numbers going into springtime because right now as you can see by these trees I mean there's there's nothing around for miles um, I mean they're, they're probably gathering something because there always are tiny little spring flowers that bloom um, but nothing that I can really see, so nothing that's that notable to the bees. So come on in close and let's go check these out. By the way, that brown right there, a lot of people were questioning about that. That brown was actually some of the flower. As the bees enter the hive, sometimes they will kick off some pollen, or the, the flower in this case, mm -hmm. and when it gets wet, it just kind of turns a little dingy. So it's not a big issue. We'll be able to wipe that off, no problem. Um, but that's what that is. Because there's a very common symptom that bees will have in the early spring where it's actually a uh, it's a bacterial infection and it gets inside of the bees and it gives them diarrhea actually so um, they will they will leave the hive really quickly and defecate and uh, that's somewhat what that looks like but it's actually not it's just the flower because um, if it is the the viral or the uh, the bacterial infection it'll be like streaks of brown rather than just a, a patch that's right where they're entering so just wanted to clarify that so let's get in here and check this one out and um not 100 percent sure but i don't think this is a good sign there's dead bees are on the edge and that's not a good sign um boy should have brought a hive tool here i didn't think that they would be Ah, there we go. Okay, that's not a good sign. These are, these are, this is, em this is an empty box right here. All right, so we got the box open and I got some bad news. This is the first casualty we've ever had of Varroa mite. And I'll show you how we know that there's Varroa mites. Um, the honey's still good. We're going to crack open this next hive and see if they're good. I, I suspect they're probably dead if this hive was dead. Um, but the, they have basically tons and tons of honey. I mean, every single frame is full. They went into, they went into winter absolutely prepared like they should be. And, and they pretty much just died all here. They never even, they never even ate their, they never even, uh, you know, they never even ate any of the honey. It's totally full. Um, so what that shows me is that they went into winter, uh, ready, but something happened. And I can tell by looking at the bottom drop board there, it's just littered with mites. Um, and that's unfortunately what happens. When you get bees like this from feral swarms, you can never tell what kind of conditions they were growing in or living in. Um, and oftentimes there can be mites uh, and other things like that. And there's really nothing you can do to prevent it. If you're an organic beekeeper like myself, uh, we don't believe in using miticides. So it's just unfortunate, but it's, uh, it's a reality. So I'm gonna kind of get this cleaned up. We're gonna get some of this honey uh, gathered here um, so that we can decide whether or not we wanna harvest it um, or whether or not we wanna feed it to the other bees. Because these hives here are very, very strong and, uh, and there's, there's absolutely no problem with, with this hive. So I don't, I don't think they're going to need it. Um, but yeah, you can just see right here, I wanna pull this frame up here and this frame is just empty there's just no yep look at this right here 
just no rhyme or reason to why the bees even died. They had they had lots of honey, and it's almost just like they just you know they just I I can't even explain it. It's it's so it's so disturbing that uh, that this type of thing happens. I mean, you don't want it to happen, and you never want your bees to die. Um, and as a beekeeper, it really it really affects me because I don't. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't like to say that these would survive better uh, in a more natural environment um, because I do think they would in certain circumstances. But it's just it's so hard for me to justify um, keeping bees um, when I have to clean up after a dead hive. You know, in the in the wilderness when these go feral, whatever happens to them happens to them, and it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. But this is a real reality. Uh, it's a real reality check when you see stuff like this that just kind of, um, it's, uh, it's, for some people it keeps them going and other people it kind of discourages them. Um, I'm a little bit in between, so uh, we're gonna keep cleaning this up. I'm gonna turn off the camera and just kind of uh, address this mess on my own. Um, Cause I really don't, I don't, this is not fun for me to, to show you guys, um, but it is a reality of beekeeping I, nonetheless. I mean. I know beekeepers that have lost entire colonies, so it's uh, it's too bad though, because they were they were really healthy. All right, so this is quite graphic, but I wanted to show you the varroa mites so that beginning beekeepers could see what I'm talking about. Basically, you have all these little black dots, um, and you can see. Hopefully it can focus. All those little black dots are the varroa mite. And as you can see, there is more than I could possibly count. I mean, it's just very unfortunate. All right, so now we have the smaller hive here, this is the smallest one. And we're gonna see what's up. Oh, good, very good. This is a good sign. These, well, these bees are not happy that I'm <laughs> pestering them this late in the day. However, as you can see, they are alive and well. So, um, small on numbers, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna have to check into that but it's too late to be doing that right now. Um, they should have a lot more numbers, but we're gonna, we're just going to close them up for now. Um, they might have some varroa mite uh, issues. I have not gotten a chance to really get in there and check out what's going on, so um, at least they're alive. That's the best thing. Uh, let's see here. These are all actually, okay, uh, not harvesting anything just yet. Um, all of these are actually eaten. So um, that's fine. That's actually good. That's what it was there for. Uh, I, I put the box on because they had filled, they had filled uh, the, the box below it completely with honey and they had uh, basically two extra frames. And so what I did was I just put this extra box on just to put those two extra frames of honey in. So the fact that they ate them is, is good because that's why I did it so um, let's try to crack this next one open here so they have I think they've eaten most of this it's all it's very propolized um, I think they've eaten most of this honey even um, which is kind of a it's kind of a clear indication that uh, the the weather has a, a direct effect on how how the bees yeah on how the bees react to uh, to warm weather they really like it to be kind of cold so that they go into dormancy this is just a little bit of honey here and a little bit of honey here um, there's still a fair amount of honey on these frames. Um, uh, that they could be eating, but not a ton. Um, 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of investigating here. Okay. All right. Okay. So very interesting. This is unbelievable. Literally, they're bone dry and empty. All right, I need help from my fellow beekeepers. I think this may be the first, possibly the first example of colony collapse disorder I've ever even witnessed. There's not a single bee in this entire box. Um, I just got down to the entire to the bottom frame. They went into spring Or they went into fall. So I mean so healthy. There was easily 120 pounds of honey in here And this is the only frame that has been untouched uh, There's still tons of honey on this frame There's almost no mites down in the bottom. There's definitely some signs of robbing from that one hive that's alive but i mean there's no bees none there's not even bees attached to any of the frames i mean it's just they're literally empty and i don't i've never seen this before especially in winter because when we left the hive there was probably at least two full levels of bees there's just a few dead bees down in the bottom. I mean, maybe a hundred, maybe a hundred. And you got just all empty frames, all empty. So let me know in the comments box below what's up, uh, what you think kind of happened. Um, because I, I never expected this one. I, I literally went into this thinking that these ones were the the live ones um wow that's uh man i don't know what to say anymore so i don't yeah i'm speechless this frame this right here is loaded with honey all this right here is pure honey Pure honey here. It's just getting robbed out by bees. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a mystery. Perfectly good, all full. I mean, I've never, I've actually never seen a stronger colony. Uh, this was, this colony was so strong that, um, I mean, I was almost positive that this was going to last, that this was going to last and uh, make it all the way through, but boy, was I wrong. Just a little bit of uncapped honey there. Wow. The ends, ends all have beautiful honey. Oh, hasn't even been touched. This one was touched. This one wasn't. So, wow. <sighs> it's very disappointing. All right. I'll see you guys later.